What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about how to pack light for a furry con. With MFF coming up really soon, I wanted to talk about going to a con with as little preparation as you possibly can get away with. I actually had the experience of doing this recently for a much more local convention called Fervana. I went to that and I packed ultra light. And the first thing I gotta show you, and should be standard for any trip anywhere in the world, is a backpack. Now, I have had this backpack for years. It's waterproof, it's pretty damage proof, and it's got tons of furry little trinkets on it and whatnot. So, backpack, something that you are comfortable wearing for long periods of time. You might not have a place to put your bag for a long time, so make sure it's comfortable. Because if you're gonna be walking around a con, you might need to be wearing your bag. So, bag, obviously, is something that you need. But, what should go in that bag? Well, let me show you. So first and foremost, no matter what you plan on wearing during the con, you need socks and underwear. A change of socks plus extra for every single day of the con you'll be there, including your arrival day. Because you might be sitting in a car or a plane for six plus hours. And when you're sitting on your butt for way too long, it can get Swampy. So make sure that you have a change when you get to the con space so that when it's time to go party or pick up your badge or do whatever, you're not walking around with sweat dripping down to your legs. Secondly, you might have some kind of accident. Whether gross or just super sweaty, it's nice to have a change so that you can feel fresh and rejuvenated anytime you need to. So, most important thing, and pretty much the bulk of my backpack, socks and underwear. Because you can never be too careful. Secondly, is clothes. Now, my favorite thing to do is to have a kind of relaxing, cool off kind of outfit. Usually just a tank top and some thin pants. Something that I can relax in, and something that I can go be active in. Now, this one is specific to musicians, and probably electronic musicians at that. But I always bring some kind of musical device. And what I would recommend is this tiny, whoops, up, oh, 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 big pause, dumb. This tiny little sampler. This one's called the PO33. It's a super tiny sampler, has a little inbuilt microphone, an inbuilt speaker, and can be used anywhere on just a couple of batteries. So if you're bored, bring something like that. And if you're not really the musical type, bring something like a Nintendo Switch, because there will be downtime. No matter where you are or what you're doing, there is very likely gonna be a time where you're just sitting there trying to relax, waiting for the rave, waiting to meet up with friends, whatever it may be, sometimes you just don't wanna be browsing Twitter. And a big one. You might not have a big hotel room to go into, or you might have one, but it has too many people in it. It might be too chaotic. So bring batteries. These little phone chargers have a couple USB ports and bring extras too. Or bring a giant singular one with, that can power your devices throughout the entire weekend or week, depending on where you're going. Oh my goodness, look how big I am. I've got so much bulky fur. This is not something I want to be carrying around an airplane, a friend's car, or the con the whole time I'm there. You know, some days I might not even want to wear this because it gets hot and sweaty. So, what should you do? Just bring the fursuit head and a couple accessories for it. And instead of wearing the whole bodysuit, your main piece of clothing is going to be a... Kigu, because Kigu's super lightweight, can fold into a really small space, and depending on the design, you can get one that looks exactly like your fursona's patterning. Because a Kigu, that's going to be your main piece of clothing. They're also super baggy, so a lot of the sweat that you produce isn't going to go much further than your body. 
And of course, as usual, follow the 6-2-1 rule. And be sure you're taking at least one shower a day. Because no amount of airy clothes or cute kigus is going to prevent you from stinking if you're never clean. So always make sure to take a shower before you go, and one every day you're there. Even if you don't have a room, if you say you're stinky, you might be able to borrow someone's shower. Cleanliness is going to be an important factor when you're roughing it at a furry con. Because no one, absolutely nobody, wants to hang out with a stinky furry. And that's it! That's the Coyote's Guide to Roughing It at a Furry Con. So, if any of you guys decide to go crazy at MFF or any other cons in the future, have fun, be safe, be clean, and until next time, thanks so much for watching! Bye bye!